Hi, I'm Sylvie and I'm so excited because today I'm going to show you how to use some of our new products. So the Queen of Hearts Day Night Eyeshadow Palette, the Earthly Delights Day Night Eyeshadow Palette, the gorgeous new Mascara and our Pure Colour Blush Bronzer Contour Palette. So let's get started. I already have some, I already have my foundation on. So what I want to start with is showing you how to use the, the bronzer blush uh, palette, contour palette. So I'm going to take a big brush and I'm first of all I'm going to use the bronzer. This one. So let's let's get started. I always recommend too that you have a tissue that you can just pat the brush onto the tissue to soak up the excess because you don't want too much. We don't want to end up with blocks of colour on the face. So here we go with the bronzer. Now remember we want to apply it where the sun would naturally kiss the skin. So can you see that, how it's just, I'm doing like a figure three on one side of my face. Again, I'm going to dip it into the bronzer and again, I'm going to just sweep it on my face. So that's very light, but um, if we keep going, we can also just add a little bit more where you think you might need it. So across the chin, I always like to because I do have a bit of a, a longer sort of face. And up here. And you can just start, um, start light and build it up. Now, the next step is that I'm actually going to use one of my little eyeshadow application brushes and dip it into the bronzer again and we're going to contour with it. So I want to contour down, make my nose look a little bit thinner. So we're gonna, I know it looks like it's um, sort of stripy and everything, but don't worry, we're gonna blend that away. And here, so we go into the points on the nose so it can appear a little bit pointier and down the other side right so I look a little bit I do look a little bit funny don't I um, also we can put it along the jowls of the The, of the face and blend away. Now you can use a brush, you can use your fingers, that's what I do. See how that, see how that sort of shadows that area? And I'll just do it onto the other side. This is just using my bronzer. I just want to get rid of that and then um, I need to blend away with these down the side of my nose. And that's going to make a, make a bit of a difference there. Just give you that more slender sort of look shadows away. Can you can you see that subtle difference? Good. Okay, the next step is we're going to use one of the um, or maybe two of the blushes. Because I'm using the Queen of Hearts today, I'm that's pinks and cranberries. I'm going to use these two colors and it's okay to blend them. I've got my blush brush. And what, what I'm going to do is just dip into both, 
dip into both and and using my little uh, tissue dab it off before I start on my cheeks finding the point where I want to start which is just here and just blending it out and up and see I have applied the bronzer on the underside of my cheekbone so that's going to make it look a little bit more hollow don't go too much with this if you're um, old much like my age and older I've only done a very subtle contour if you're younger you can but the older we get the more sort of hollow we kind of look I'm just wanting to accentuate my cheekbone so I've done it very lightly um, and I'm just using my blush now that's quite pretty it's the pinks and the um, cranberry kind of colors so again I'm going to do that on the other side now finding the point and then blending there we go beautiful so always, if you think it's too much, just use your fingers just to blend a little bit more. Um, fingers are great, they and they really help to, especially when I'm putting on my foundation, I think um, it helps to blend in and smooth into the skin. It, your fingertips are warm, um, so it really works for me. Now, let's get started on the Queen of Hearts. So I'm going to take it out of its little sleeve great for traveling and uh, let's get started but there is one other little trick I wanted to show you now in the earthly delights kit because we have so in both kits you've got your matte shades at the top and your shimmery shades at the bottom I'm actually going to use this color here our this little middle middle color to accentuate my eyebrows so you can use it as a brow dust and again I've used um, the straight edge of a brush and I'm going to feather it into my into my eyebrows I prefer a I prefer a powder I think it gives you a more natural uh, look than a pencil and um, this color suits most people if you need to go darker we've got a darker shade there but I'm actually using it and I'm going to brush this through so but you can see that it's made quite a difference uh, just brushing it through now that sort of makes it look a little bit more natural there you go sort of blends it in and of course doing the other side of the eye to balance it out. Eyebrows really set the scene for the eyes. So I think they're pretty important. Um, get them done professionally if you, oh, you know, waxed or threaded, whichever, whatever you like to do um, professionally if you don't do it properly yourself. Okay, the eyebrows, done. So we've finished the eyebrows and let's get started on the Queen of Hearts. So I'm going to start with the, um, the light shade in the matte. I'm going to use the whole palette today because I really love to combine them. But you could just use the top section for day and then dress it up, go a bit heavier with the shimmer in the, uh, at the bottom or use both like I am right now. So starting with this shade load up the brush da, 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 dab it on your on your um tissue and we're going to just apply this all over the eye it's called layering and it helps to keep the the makeup on so all over da, da. the other side There 
you go. Now, I'm actually going to go in with this shade down here on the inner corner of the eyes, of the eyelid, as you can see. A very pretty shimmery light shade. I'm also sort of applying it See, in the very corner of the eye, it just really opens up the eye and makes it pop. Okay, the next shade we're going to go in with, I'm using a bigger brush, and I'm going to put this colour on the outer parts of the eye, the outer corner of the eye. You see that? Such a pretty colour. So pretty. Lovely pink. And now using a mix of these two, I'm going to mix them together. I'm going to start with the with the mat and go into the to the shimmer and then I'm going to do, just put it on the crease of the eye and then feather it underneath the eye the crease on both sides I haven't blended yet so don't worry if it looks um, a bit, a bit messed up. Um, so underneath, now we're going to have to um, blend away. Okay, so that's that's really lovely. What I'm going to do too, though, is just to add a bit of interest, I'm going to go back to this really light shade and in the very centre of my lid, I'm just going to dab that. Now you could do it with this one or this one as well, but I want to do it with this one. All the way up, there you go. Just a just a pop of a little pop of interest there. Now I could add eyeliner and I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do the dark brown in our eyeliner. So I'm going to do the waterline inside the waterline like that. And along the top of the waterline. Now I could go really dramatic and I could do it over the top there, out the outer corners or all the way over and, and then blend, blend, blend again, but I don't want to because um, I just wanted to show you this. But now I'm going to use the mascara. So we've got our mascara and this is, have a good look, this is me, my lashes, without mascara. Now, just watch how gorgeous it is. And you can just, you can layer, layer upon layer, depending on how you, how you want, how you want your lashes to look. So that's the top, and now I'm doing the bottom. God, mascara really, really, really does 
open up the eye, doesn't it? Okay, that's one eye without and the other eye with mascara. Makes a difference. Really does. Really opens up the eye, finishes off the makeup. Um, just do the other eye now to balance it all out and to let you see. Um, okay, now if I was going out, I would probably, I would probably um, keep layering. I'd do another couple of layers. But that, I don't know, I think it's pretty good. There you go. The Queen of Hearts and the blush bronzer contour.